so that this 20 mm margin is very much necessary it's very much useful the middle section indicates the drawing area where the actual drawing work is to be done and the last one in the right corner right downward corner the title block is seen so in the title block we have to draw or we have to write the name of the many details that is the name of the college the name of the drawing a drawing sheet then the number of the drawing means that the sheet is of which number then the angle of projection that we will study later one and then the date the name of the students signature of the faculty date of completion etc so all the details of the sheet covers the title block now the next one we will study the different size that we are using in the case of drawing papers means as per the applications there are many sheet designations starting from a0 to a5 the first the first tables is shown the sheet designation the second one is the trim size and third one is the untrimmed size which dimensions are always in ma the a0 size indicates the biggest size of the sheet and the a5 indicates the smallest size of the sheet starting from the a0 a stream size is 841 by 1189 its untrimmed size is 880 by 1230 a1 size in the case of the a1 sheet designation a stream size is of 594 by 841 and its untrimmed size is 625 by 880 the third one is a2 size which we are using mostly in our diploma engineering drawing purpose which is of uh, 220 by 494 uh, 594 it is of trim size and 450 by 625 which is of untrimmed size the a3 sheets which is of comparatively smaller shape which is of 297 by 420 of untrimmed size and 320 by 450 of untrimmed size A4 210 by 297 of trim size and 240 by 330 which is of untrimmed size and the last one the smallest size which is of 497 by 147 by 210 of trim size and 165 by 240 which is of untrimmed size in the next figure the comparison of the different designation of sheets as per the shapes are shown starting from the a0 size to a5 size it is shown in the figure now the next one it is a clamping devices means for clamp uh, we will use the sheet by using the drawing board so that for the clamping attachments means the clamping between the fixing between the sheet and the drawing board the clamping device are used the in this case the first one is the drawing clips the drawing clips are made up of steel or plastic material which has the tendency of spring means it is of spring nature we can able to pull and if we remove the force then it automatically it will come in the proper shape and as we can see in the figure the attachment of the fixers of the clips means the um, the limitations is there in the case of the drawing clips is that the proper shape means the shape as the dimensions of the drawing board the sheet dimensions should be equal then only the drawing clips are useful the next one is the drawing pins the drawing pins are mainly of made up of stainless steel or of brass material and its construction is consists of needle and its head the drawing clips are used in that case to f to fit or to fix the, the sheet in on the drawing board which is if the main advantage of these drawing pins is that we can able to fix any size of the sheet as we have seen earlier any dimensions of the sheet on the drawing board by using the pins so that it is the most useful fixers now the third one is adhesive tape the adhesive tape is of many materials and it is uh, it it will not stick and it will remove easily so it will not tear or damage the sheet 
it, it it will be very much useful because it is breakable means it can be easily break and we can able to stick in easy way and remove an easy way with a very minimum effort now next one is a sheet container okay the sheet container is very much useful uh, equipment because after completion of the sheet or for the handling after completion of the sheet we have to handle the sheets means uh, if we, we have to take care of the sheet uh, for for the damage or for any tearing uneven tearing of, of the sheets so the sheet container are very useful to cover the sheet in the in the containers which is of different shapes okay we can able to see the different shapes means the different flexible shapes of the sheet we can able to pull the sheet uh, we can able to pull the cylinder of the container by, by when we have to uh, we, when we have to uh, draw or when we have to fix the long side sheets in the case of uh, drawing sheets drawing containers it consists of the cylinder then the lid lid which is the head and the belt and we can able to take when I mean, we can able to handle in a easy, easy way by using the sheet containers now the next one is the i have a video presentation we will see the video presentation of all the we will see the video presentation of all the phase but it is not okay okay the first we will revise all the equipments the f we, we had studied the drawing board then t square scale or ruler the roller scale set square mini drafter compass divider set of pencils protector french curves circle masters eraser drawing paper or sheet sheet clamping templates sheet container we will revise in a very fast way okay the first one was, was the drawing board right the drawing board we will use to help the fixers of the sheet it means it will helpful to draw the sheet in a proper manner because its surface is very much smooth and in the right hand side surface the ebony edge is fitted which can able to use by sliding for sliding the t-square now the second one and the di where the dimensions okay the dimensions consist of different designations as per the application of the sheet size from a0 to a3 the size consists of the length width and thickness as shown in the figure now the next one is a t-square the t-square which consists of the head and blade in its construction which is of 90 degree angle okay the the, the, the length of the blades should be fixed as per the di dimension of and as per the length of the drawing board and the blade should be transparent and on the blades the different scales means the different dimensions are there so that we can able to draw the lines of the different dimensions as per the applications by using the t square we can able to draw the horizontal lines we can able to draw horizontal parallel lines on the drawing sheet okay now the second next one was next up was the scale or the ruler by using this we can able to draw the any shapes means any straight shapes whether it, is, it was horizontal vertical or inclined the, the scale or ruler consists of two uh, two shape the first one is the flat or the triangular shape the scale or ruler are available in the two size the first one is 15 centimeter by 2 centimeter the second one is 30 centimeter by 2 centimeter it is used to transfer the true or the relative dimensions of an object to the drawing sheet means we can able to draw any size by using the different shapes between the 15 centimeter and 30 centimeter scale the next one is the roller scale the roller scale also used to transfer the line dimensions is used to draw the proper dimensions but the difference between the scale and the roller scale is there in the case of the roller scale the roller or the cylinder is fixed by using the roller or the cylinder and by 
uh, drawing and by uh, rolling manually the roller scale we can able to draw the parallel and the vertical line parallel vertical and horizontal line very much easily on the drawing sheet next one is the set square the set square are of the two sides so there are two set of set squares or triangles the first one is the 45 degree 30 degree set square the 45 degree and 30 degree set square by using the two by using its combination we can able to draw in many degrees means we can able to draw from 0 degree as per up to 360 degree by using the set of set square it is used by this figure shows that what we can so this figure shows the use of the set square by using the t square so by sliding it by sliding the set square on the t square it is possible to draw vertical lines as we see we can see in the figure and any degree lines by using the set squares t squares okay it is a working with the set square that is we can able to draw the any degrees that is from 30 de 15 degree to 90 degree on the one side and other side as same by using the combination of the t square by sliding the combinations by sliding the combination of the set square we can able to draw different degrees as we can see in the figure the base consists of the horizontal lines only so that it is possible to slide on that very much easily on the t square now the next one is the mini drafter the mini drafter combines the use of many instruments that is the t square set square scale and protector the mini drafter consists in its construction which is the fixing uh, fixing device the first one is locator which locates the seats into the drawing board the second one is two arms which can able to move which can able to slide at anywhere in the drawing sheet which consists of two scales which is of perpendicular direction the first one is of 15 centimeter the first one is a 15 centimeter and the second one is of 30 degree centimeter scale which must be in the perpendicular direction and it consists of the protector shape means the degree from the one zero degree to 360 degree we can able to take any inclined lines from zero degree to 360 degree in the case of mini drafter the mini it shows the this figure shows the use of the working with the mini drafter the mini drafter can able to move in at any place of the content uh, at any place in the drawing sheet from the f from first corner to the last corner at any point in the drawing sheet by considering its margins we can able to draw any inclined lines of any degree parallel lines horizontal lines of any required dimensions of any required shape so that it will cover the use of t square set square and protectors so working with the, by working with the mini drafter the students are feel feel free and the work will be fast and more quality work as compared to other equipments and the next one was the compass the compass consists of okay by use of the compass we can able to draw the circles of arc and arcs of the required dimensions means from starting from the small circle up to the big circles by considering its radius we can able to draw but the limitations of the compass would be there it, com it, it depends on the size and the shape of the compass it consists of two arms the first arm consists of the needle uh, it con consists of needle at its base and the second arm consists of lead by using the two arms we can able to draw the radius at of any dimensions with the help of compass which is having circle or cards the next one is a divider the divider it looks like a compass only but we can able to draw the different uh, which we, we can able to divide it into the different parts means we can able to divide the line into equal parts with the help of divider which consists of uh, two needles in both its arms now the next one is the pencil it consists of the uh, wooden pencil and the next one is of mechanical pencil the wooden pencil in the case of the wooden pencil we have to sharpen the pencils when when it is applicable but in the case of the mechanical pencils just by pulling the knob we can able to use the mechanical pencil which is very easily okay for the high quality drawings we should have to use the mechanical pencils which has refill lids 
it is the lead grade as we seen earlier the lead grade pencils are consist of three types the first one is the hard medium soft and its grade tables means the shade tables as also shown as per the grades as per the pencil grades from the medium to hard to soft the applications different tasks starting from the construction lines up to the letterings as seen in the figure we can able to draw by using the lead grades and different light weights are possible by using the set of pencils next one was the protector the protector is used to divide the uh, it is used to draw any angle any degree of angle by using the semicircle or circular protectors okay this figure shows the degree of the protector so that by using the base line of the protector it is possible to draw any degree from 0 degree to 180 degree on both sides this figure shows the french curves then the use of the french curves means the combination of french curves and it is of circle master the circle master is used to draw the ready made circles starting from the smaller dimensions to the bigger dimensions it is erasers the eraser is used for the erasing work and also it is used for the modifications of the work as work as per our requirement next one was the drawing paper on the drawing paper we have to draw any figures then the drawing sheets it shows the drawing area then dimensions of clamping templates drawing clips then drawing pins and adhesive tabs these are the three clamping templates sheet container which is used to handle the sheet in proper way okay so that by using this in the equipments we can able to draw we can able to use in very any very good way now the, in the next one we will study the difference techniques different drawings different engineering drawings in the basic ways in the basic purpose so that thank you for all thank you very much students